John. Oh. Jack's here. <laughs> you ready? Belgian waffles. You know what day it is. It's a flat day. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yesterday, yeah, I punched her square in the face. Did he creamers? Yeah, let me just go right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing a horizontal. All right, um, we're doing a horizontal angle today. I don't know what this shit is. I've been getting a lot of requests to do Rook again. Plus $15. Thought I was never going to do a part two to any coffee because I figured one was good enough. I got Kirkland's. This one just seemed to get a lot of attention. Oh, there we go. Medium roast. We're doing Rook coffee part two Sumatra blend. It's 144 of them that come in a box for eight bucks. You can see how this one, this one goes. Yeah, it's already ground, so... This thing is stupid. If you use it, you're pretentious and I don't like you. Uh, John, I'm gonna ask you to hand me the coffee grinder. Describe everything. <laughs> <laughs> Jack wants me to describe this. It is a white cup. If it's fair trade, I don't believe I see a fair trade stamp on this Rook one. Starting to answer some questions about Rook here. I don't know if I uh, trust what they're doing. Usually you do this in a Keurig. Uh, I couldn't bring that with me because mine's from uh, 2008 and it weighs about 80 pounds. I'm gonna have to use this um, meth distillation device. Oh, look at that, so easy. I mean, it smells good, I'll definitely give them that. It smells like a working class man on a Monday morning. Yo, Jack, toss me the garnish. We do it again. You know yeah, what? I forgot we were doing an Advil commercial for that. Just an Instagram coffee review for a kid who can't eat bread. Jack Zagonish. I learned this one while I was uh, spending overnight in a psych ward when I was Baker acted. Oh. So is there a technique to pour this to be like a I mean, professional bag? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Bowl, the Packers are there. They... So for uh, legal reasons and our ongoing court case, I have to mention our sponsor for this video. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick before I'm done. Uh, Resolve Pet Expert Odor and Stain Remover. I promise to not use this in or around my body again and will not recommend others to do so. Also, I'd like to formally ask at Hannah Will to please, please right. answer my Instagram DMs right. because I haven't been getting responses. Oh. <laughs> I don't sleep at night anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself anymore. <laughs> but if Hannah doesn't answer, I will have to move on to Natalie Wilt <laughs> and then start spamming her DMs. And then Sam Wilt after that. Please answer me. Okay. I'm getting persimmon. Are you getting persimmon? Alright. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> this is like the third Sumatra I've done, so hopes are high. And this will be my uh, 38th day straight of the Kirkland Medium Roast. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. So I'm getting the Advil right off the bat. <laughs> it kind of gives it like a mapley taste. Mapley? Maple. The liquid gel kind of adds to it. Mine definitely has that like signature rook taste. How is it? It tastes like <laughs> Now, Jack takes his black, but um, oh, I'm a little bit classy. I use International Delight Hazelnut, and I only put a touch in. That goes against like everything that we do. <laughs> just a bit. And then, just as a little wake me up in the morning. You know, we're on a diet, but you gotta have your little cheats. No! I wasn't gonna do it! <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. <laughs> My friend, you have a winner. You have a winner, Rook Sumatra. This. Would you give it out of five? It kind of had I you don't deserve turmeric. this song. I take turmeric. Dude, huh? it literally looks like peppermint is on the side. <laughs> it's, it's, there's something missing from it. Um, it's still, I, I still don't like the taste of this coffee. It's like too sweet for me. It feels like they're really trying to be different. Like you know it's from Rook. I'm actually getting a little bit of whiskey in mine. I don't really know why. Um, I would say this is the best Sumatra I've had. Like I've had better Sumatras than this. <laughs> this again um <coughs> knowing I, I feel like people thought that i went really hard on that first real coffee score i honestly thought i was a little too like i thought i was a little too generous on that one knowing what i know now with like the different sumatras that i've had i would say this one is probably the worst um there's a whole there's a sort of <laughs> there's a signature taste that real coffee has i'm just i don't like it what would you give yours out of five, John? Four nine. So I'm telling you, actually trying it. It tastes delicious. <laughs> what would give it that five? What would give it a five out of five? Sharing it with that special someone. <laughs> and that's what matters. Share your coffee with someone sharing you care it, about. Yep, sharing it with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, I would give mine like a three two. Not terrible. Alright, I thought you were gonna fuck a little more. Really? Yeah. All you do is talk shit on Rook. I mean... If every single Mammoth University girl has a sticker on their car, they must be doing something right. Yeah, they're advertising. Do you just enjoy not liking what most people like? Not at all. I think that it's interesting to see where everybody, like, has their priorities as far as, like, what they care about. Because, like, I think it's an image that comes with Rook. Where you had, like, you know, Advil and Ready Whip and... International Belight Hazelnut Cream. Yeah, it's gonna make it taste good, but I don't know. I just think that it's not as great as everybody thinks. It's it coffee. Is. I've had better. It's coffee. I've had better. That's just that's all it is. Cheers. Take it black. <laughs> the Advil and the tobacco burn. <laughs> it makes like an acetone. <laughs> what are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs>